Hello all. Well, I started to record when I was going, came out at first and I only recorded a couple of minutes, but I had to do the poopy bag and doing that, I hit the thing on the side that stopped the video. So it is quite warm. As you see, I have my jacket open. I do have my hat on. My ears are cold, but Jazzy didn't even want to put her winter jacket on. And my car said 43, but it feels a little warmer than that. But I think because it's been windy the last couple of days, and, oh, not yesterday. Today's Thursday. On Tuesday, Tuesday night, what a storm. Oh, my God. I mean, I couldn't fall asleep. I've been having trouble falling asleep at night. Last night was the first night that I didn't have trouble falling asleep. Like, well, I shouldn't say falling asleep. Staying asleep. Jazzy. This dog. No, she keeps going for this electric thing. Get out of there. You're going to get a shock. Um, so, yeah, you're going to get a shock one of these days. It's like an electric box. It says, do not touch, stay off, electric, blah, blah, blah. She, uh, she seems to think, you know, what the hell. So, um, oh, here's a can of something. What is it? I have no clue. Um, skinny can. So it's, it's like one of those seltzers, hard seltzers. But um, could be wrong. So it was so wicked. The rain and the wind, I thought bricks were going to come off of the building the other night. So, I went back to work Tuesday and came home and walked Jazzy. So, it wasn't raining that hard yet. Um, I did stop and get chicken soup, a bowl, two bowls of chicken soup at um, Chick-fil-A. Jazzy wound up finishing one of the bowls. It's really good. If you haven't tried their chicken noodle soup, it's really good. And they gave me up lots of crackers. So I, I walked her just a little walk around the parking lot because it was raining, but not so hard yet. And then um, from there, I ate my soup and then I fell asleep. And I, Bobby, was asleep by seven o'clock. Then I woke up at like 11 and I tossed and turned until about two, three, which was quite annoying. And my biggest problem is coughing. And the actually Monday night, tried to stay awake as much as possible on Monday. And which I did, but I turn around and, and the wind's picking up. I have my gloves though in my in my jacket pocket. Thank God. Um, so going this way, Jazzer. Um, she's done her business, so I think she'd be very happy to not. But we haven't been walking. We've been doing a little short walk around the parking lot. So. I'm going to take a longer walk. Where the hell are you? Oh, she's staying right next to me tonight. Usually she's way ahead or way behind. Um, so then um, I couldn't fall asleep. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I was so sad. So I had to get up for work. But I took a shower and everything the night before. I've been taking my shower at night because in the morning I just I know it sounds ridiculous but I'm not going to fall asleep any earlier so I can sleep a little later <laughs> I mean it's only like a half hour but oh my god it's just killer I, I really honestly don't know why but so Tuesday night yeah I fell asleep it's like 7 woke up and then till like 2 o'clock in the morning, 11 till about 2. And then um, then from there, 
Um, I turn around and I should be in that gym. I can't even breathe. Um, but then, um, last night, no, last night I fell asleep probably around nine, I guess. And then from there, um, I woke up probably around one, two. Sorry, my eye has been itchy all day and it's really annoying me. Um, and so, Jazzy, come on. She, she loves these stupid things that look like they belong, you know, at the beach. So, um, next week is my goal to get in that gym, even if it's for 30 minutes on that freaking treadmill, because... I can, as you can see, I'm having a hard time breathing from this stupid, recovering from this stupid flu and whatever else. Um, I think I, I don't know if I told you as I was at the ER and had to get oxygen. And so, come on, those belong at the beach. And I don't know why you're so obsessed with them. Let's go. So, that was that. Um, and uh, um, they give you Tamiflu. Now, I had a reaction to the Tamiflu. My bosses who had the flu had a reaction to the Tamiflu. They stopped taking it after the second day. And when I was at the ER, they said, oh, well, you know, it really only cuts the flu by like 24 hours. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? What the hell am I taking this for? They said, maybe 48 at the most. And I'm like, then what the hell? I mean, I guess if you're, you know, I was, I did have fever. No, no, someone dropped crackers. She's going to go try to eat them. Um, I'm trying to find my gloves. Um, so, to put them on this hand. Sorry, this hand is cold. The hand that was holding the phone. Ew. But, oh, no, the other hand is. So, um, we turn around and, um, so I, was, I, I didn't understand the point except for the drug companies to make money. If I mean, I guess, 24 hours less of like high fever, chills, aches, and everything is something. I mean, I was miserable, but it didn't do it for me. Just made me, and I got a reaction. I have a rash around my neck, and from it, I don't know. It's just crazy. So, whatever. So, I stopped taking it. A couple of people stopped taking it. And my son's girlfriend. I finally saw my granddaughter after three weeks. We went to dinner, nothing fancy, just Perkins. And my son's girlfriend was off, so that was nice. And she's telling me how hungry she is. She's a very small eater, and she said she still eats small, but she's like, she could eat, and then like two hours later, she's starving as if she didn't eat it. So she's eating like her small little meals like she normally eats, but she's eating them every two hours. She said she even woke up 4.30 in the morning at, to pee, and which must be so annoying because um, it's just like, you know, the side that I lived, it's a mirror uh, image on the, her side. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? It was, <laughs> um, she has to go all the way down the stairs to the back of the house to pee which that is so annoying. And so she said that, um, she, what you call it? Um, she was starving. So she ate animal crackers because of course she wasn't going to make anything. And that was like the quickest thing that she could see and grab. So she said this baby's just hungry like every two hours. So no, yes, yeah, it's, it's my son's baby. 
And she said she could feel the baby constantly. He's constantly kicking, constantly. Can't feel it on the outside yet, but on the inside, constantly moving. Like, oh man. So, and I keep teasing her because I won't, every once in a while I'll do those stupid things on Facebook, like that say, you know, what's the next year going to bring? And I kept saying twins, twins, pregnant twins, pregnant twins. Well, I can't get pregnant. <laughs> Even if I could, macula conception at this point. And um, I said, you sure there's only one in there? And it's funny because it shows two boys, always. So I said, whoops. They say, here comes another one. <laughs> well, they say, guess what? <laughs> one was behind the other. I know someone that that happened to. It was, well, she's 22 weeks. I don't think it was 22 weeks. I think it was like 16 weeks or something like that. And they're like, oh, whoops. I mean, in this modern technology, I mean, this was, I think, when I was pregnant. I don't know, my son or my daughter. And uh, so that was, you know, way back when. So I, I think they would know by now at 22 weeks. So, and I was, I didn't know, <laughs> realize she was 22 weeks. And I was saying how, Alicia was constantly kicking and kicking and I remember because it was like 24 7 I could not sleep and I said at 22 weeks I thought my water broke and Austin goes aren't you 22 weeks and I was like oh crap so she's like yeah I'm 22 weeks and I was like yeah I go but it wasn't I was like Alicia was you know I went to you know the hospital they sent me you know, right up to maternity, kind of knew me from my son, and um, I was there for her, too, uh, not as much, but, because, you know, when I needed IV, they did it at home, sent me home, and, oh, we're going to send a nurse to you, okay, so, um, we turned around, and um, then it happened again, and they're like, no, your water didn't break. That's so weird. It's so clear. You know, it's like water. And I was like, well, I do drink a lot of water. And as the nurse was changing my pad under me, boom, it happened. It gushed. And she's like, oh, my God. And she goes, I just witnessed that. And they examined me. I didn't have a rupture in my, you know, bus. They said it's not, you know, it's not, I guess... You'd say amniotic fluid. I guess they tested for that. I don't know. So I don't know what they test, you know, how they test it or whatever. And then they got an ultrasound. And they're like, oh, my God, she's she's kicking at your bladder. And it, was, it would happen quite often. And I had to sit with something under me because she was constantly kicking my bladder. I think it wasn't, it was until I was maybe about eight months that that stopped because I think then she had enough room. My stomach had stretched out. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so that was fun. But to get back to, to date guy, he is going on a cruise this Saturday. Now I've been sick. We were supposed to spend New Year's Eve and he was looking forward to it. And when I told him I was sick, he goes, oh, I guess no New Year's Eve celebration for us. And I was like, I'm really sorry. You know, I'm disappointed too. Now, I think he thought I was full of shit, maybe. So, not that I had to justify myself. Because if he didn't believe me, oh, well, too bad. But my voice sounded like a 900 number. <laughs> so, I made a recording. And I was like, hey... This is my voice right now. Doesn't it sound so sexy? Uh, I can make some money with this, you know. And I sent it to him and he said, wow. Awesome. He goes, it does sound very sexy. And I'm like, well, it hurts because I'm coughing so much. Come on, Jazz, this way. No, this way. So, yeah, so... um and, you know, we were talking and stuff, 
you know, he's, I didn't want to bother you. How are you feeling today? And, you know, and I was running high fever. And then when I told him, I went to the hospital and all this. And so he was like caring and learning all this. I don't know if I told you this, but this guy, the same name, (laughs) actually texted me. And I waited a couple of days. And then I answered him like, hi, I got a new phone. Um, Who is this? And he's like, oh, you know, he tells me. And uh, I was like, I waited a while, then he answered him. And finally, after he texted me, to, to yes, last night, so today, I was like, so. I mean, it didn't warrant an answer, but I made him wait till today. And I was like, you know, I waited till today, I should say. I say, so what made you reach out? He says, oh, I never stopped thinking about you. And I'm like, oh. And then he's like, how are you feeling? Um, and I said, better. And he said, oh, good. So, um, but two-day guy who's going on the cruise. I told him, you know, I was feeling better Monday. It was going back to work Tuesday and all this. And he's like, well, I guess I won't see you till I get back from my cruise. I'm like, When's your cruise? And he's like, um, Saturday. And I'm like, oh. Um, now, he could have said, are you feeling up to it? You know, maybe I can come by before I go. Nothing. So, oh well. Sorry. I am not keeping phlegm in my mouth, people. So, sorry about that. I did turn my head away from the phone. But, um, I really, like, so I feel he could have reached out to me. He really could have. And he didn't. So, um, I didn't hear from him yesterday. And then today, he's like, oh, I'm slammed today. And he said, oh, that's a good and bad thing. When I finally did answer him. And then he's like, I haven't packed yet. I said, ah, there's some shorts, t-shirts, and some pants in a suitcase. You're good to go. And he's like, yeah, they're naked. No, all I wrote was LOL. So if I don't hear from him by tomorrow night, I will say tomorrow night. No. I will say, have a nice, have a nice vacation or have a nice cruise really is it a vacation when you're you know retired so I don't know so I was just like you know whatever so and now this guy with the same name as today guy I we talked and talked and then I just kind of I was like, listen, I was like, you know what? I was like, we're obviously not going to meet. You obviously just wanted a chatting buddy. That's not what I'm looking for. So if you're looking for something more, let me know. Well, then it was a while. And then he reached out to me. I was like, okay. All right. So then we were going to meet. I promised we're going to meet, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? We didn't. Then, you know, back to we we hadn't talked. And then he reached out again. And, oh, he reached. <laughs> he was like, sent me something. And I was just like, I was just like, I, I, I was like, what? And... And uh, he he was like, oh, sorry, wrong person. And he goes, but how are you? I'm like, yeah, uh, been there, done that trick, dude. So, um, come on, Jazzy. Come on. Come on, we're not going in yet. You're walking a little more. Jazzy, let's go. So, um, come on. 
Come on. You're walking more. Let's go. I haven't walked a long walk in days. So, um, yeah, so. I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Sorry, putting the other glove on now. Hope I don't hit the button. There, if I hit the side button, it stops it. And I'm sorry if I do. I'm sorry I'm like all over the place here. But um, I've been crocheting. I crocheted like a little blanket to attach. I'm going to try and attempt, which I think tomorrow it comes my yarn. I'm going to make a dinosaur. Uh, well, not with that yarn. I am going to make, um, get like darker blue. I'll order that this weekend for the dinosaur. I asked my friend Amy to help me. She's done things like that. I have not. And it's on YouTube. So I'm going to attempt to try to do it by myself first. I was going to do a bunny. But a bunny seems more complicated than the dinosaur, believe it or not. And I think the dinosaur is like one thing, like almost like a blanket, and then you connect together. Where the bunny is like, you make the legs, um, and then the be legs and the belly, and then you make then you stop and then you make the arms and then you make the head then you make the ears then you connect the ear first you connect the body to the head then you connect the arms then you connect the ears so you know and you're stuffing along the way as you're doing it which is kind of annoying to me so, because my sister-in-law's mom makes bears, and they seem so easy to make because she stitches across like, like it's flat. She stitches across for the collar for the legs, and she stitches across the collar for the pants, and then the collar for the shirts, and then the collar, you know, goes back to the, you know, connects where the arms are, the brown for the arms. And then the head and, you know, whatever. And then she sews them together with the yarn. And stuffs them before she closes it up. And then she sews, like, in the middle for the, you know, to form the legs. And then she sews on the side, you know, up a couple stitches for the, you know, kind of forms the arms. And same thing for the ears. So, I'm like, hmm... That seems easier, but she's already making him a bear, and their theme is for the room is dinosaurs. For the shower is Shrek. Now, I didn't think, I'm thinking, oh, we're going to have to improvise. But there is such a thing for baby boy shower for Shrek, for little baby or ogre and girl. So I'm like, oh, this is like fantastic. So I found, and I came up with, for the centerpieces, like little suckling plants, but they have where you can customize the signs that say, um, you know, Donna's baby shower. And I could do that on two sides. Then the other sides, it'll just be like, you know, the baby ogre. So, and then put the little plants up, sucklings in there. There's only going to be five tables, so I think that will be good. That's kind of cute because it kind of has, like, trees on it. So, plus it's, like, cute enough, but, like, I don't think we need balloons. I don't think we need um, some big, you know, centerpiece. 
So I think that's cute for a centerpiece. What would we do six? So do one for the, the, you know, cake table. So, um, so yeah, I was kind of excited and they have even invitations and you pay and you can download the template. So you're paying for the template. So then you got to print them. So I don't have a printer. I do at work, but I think printing all those invitations at work um, might get in trouble. So I am going to see. It, it, my dog is pooping again. Is she kidding me here? Oh my God. So, um, well, maybe not. Maybe. Oh my God. You know what? I'm not opening the bag. Just a little bit of itty bitty poop. And shit, where are my bags? Oh crap. I think when I pull, well, I can't take it out. I think when I pulled the bags out, I mean my gloves out. I dropped the bags because they're not in my thing. And it's a little itty bitty and I was going to just not even open it and just pick it up, but you know what? Sorry to say, I'm not going to. Don't tell. Yeah, I do not have, great. I lost like five bags. Unless they're over here somewhere, then I will go back. And I will get it. Oh my god. One time I felt so bad that I took a leaf and I picked it up and first garbage can I got to dropped it. Oh, I can't believe I did that. So yeah, so I got off the subject of you know this guy. It has the same name as two day guy. But he's been, you know, in touch. We'll see. This time I'm gonna say so, we're going to meet, and if we don't, if he says, sure, I'll say, okay, fine. <laughs> I'll say, come on. Like, before the pandemic, and I think he reached out during the pandemic, and I was bored, to be honest. So, Jazzy, I don't see your bags. So... Someone else probably picked them up. Mm. Oh well. I tried. Uh, I think that's only my second time ever not picking up poop. Because the first time was when there was no electricity. So, but yeah, so we will see. So, I've been at work. Um, work is busy, a lot of bids. Um, next week, four. This week three, I think we had. So we, not one, one yet. But I think next week, two of them, I think they're fairly confident we're going to win. So, um, it actually is quite nice walking out here because, um, it is not so i think jazzy wants to go in come on let's just walk down here and then back she's like oh hell to the no all right come on we'll go in she's like i was barking before man i want to go in my sign for you know christmas fresh trees for christmas my christmas tree is still up come on oh, oh. Lord, I really need, I have not, oh, I didn't want this, sorry, I'm like, so in your face, um, my son came Saturday, and he took, um, sorry, oh my god, ugh, he took my garbage out and my recycling. 
think it was this past Saturday. So, <coughs> I'm getting to that point where I'm going to start coughing because this is the back. Yeah, Christmas shirt that came, I think, New Year's Eve. So, um, and i got to give Jazzy her treat. These are tiny. Here you go. So, and the cold now has gotten to my blood. So, um, hope all everybody's new year has started out great. That's off. And switching to my slippers. Um, I hope everybody's new year has started out great and healthy, unlike mine. And I hope to see you all again uh, tomorrow night having Christmas with my family um, since my son was sick. So, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.